Good morning, everybody. This is a video that explores the new functionality that was released with Zoom a few days ago on listening to other channels for the purpose of Relay for RSI or remote simultaneous interpretation. Uh, I had created a similar video a few days ago, but I actually missed some of the functionality, so I'm making another one. First of all, uh, in, order to, in order to take advantage of this feature, make sure you as the interpreter, your Zoom is up to date. When you download the offline app for Zoom, um, you should see that there is a little bar up here requesting that you update uh, Zoom. Otherwise, you can click on your profile here and move down to check for updates and make sure that you have version 5.9.6 or higher. That is when this feature will be enabled. Otherwise, I am going to go into a meeting where I had created uh, two profiles to act as interpreters. And here I am going to rename myself so I will be the Mandarin interpreter. The other, I have also joined on my phone as the French interpreter. So, now to start interpretation, it's the same as before. As the host, go into interpretation and the, the person who is the host can make sure that the people are assigned properly. Here we go. And I'm going to click on start. And when I do this, both people will be assigned as interpreters. And here is what's new. You can see that let me just make sure i'm not getting an echo here now you can see that the this interface is the same as before you're able to output to english and chinese channels and uh, as a mandarin interpreter i will be typically outputting to chinese but this is new on the left side uh, by default you're listening to main audio uh, if you click this you will have now the option to listen to the english output channel or any other interpretation channels that exist so this is now useful for relay purposes. You don't need to connect a secondary device, such as your phone, to listen to relay, which was a uh, quite tedious process for interpreters in the past. So now you can simply listen to the English channel. And on my phone, if I am now outputting to the uh, English channel, let me just do this. I should be able to hear myself. I do. OK. So that works quite well. And uh, now, this is half of what interpreters need to do uh, when they are interpreting on Zoom. Now, when I created my first video a few days ago, I had thought that you could not listen to your partner. Because as you can see, I, my output is set to Chinese. When I click on listen to, listening to, Chinese was not, not an option here. So I had assumed that Zoom did not build that functionality, which is in fact not true. Uh, thanks to my colleague, Laura, who actually who actually corrected me that this feature is available what zoom doesn't want you to do is listen to the current channel you're outputting to which means if i switch my output to english all of a sudden chinese appears here and um so if you have a partner and if, if you like to listen to your partner while you don't have your active turn simply switch your output to english and mute your mic obviously um, and then you can listen to your partner. Oh, sorry, that was the wrong button. You can listen to your partner by listening by switching the uh, listening channel to Chinese. Uh, in my case, now what's interesting is that let's say your turn is coming up. Simply by clicking this button and switching your output to Chinese, it now removes you now remove yourself from the Chinese channel uh, input. So I'm going to click on Chinese output. And as soon as I do that, the listening to switches to the floor because Zoom does not want you to listen to the current channel you're outputting to in order to avoid uh, feedback or you hearing your own voice. Uh, so yes, listening to Relay, simply click here, go to English. And when it's not your turn, your partner will ask for the mic anyway. So switch to English and now you can listen to your partner. So both functions work quite well. And these are functions that were released with Zoom. Uh, just a few days ago and is quite convenient now for RSA interpreters 
uh, working in conferences and they no longer need to connect to a secondary device.